Okay, now I'm getting creeped out. I just heard somebody cough behind me. And it was a distinctive cough. My heart is pounding. There's nobody else out here that I know of, but I heard a cough. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Hey y'all, it's been a few weeks since I've been on here and I apologize. I've been uh, dealing with some personal stuff in life. You know, life still goes on, so I had to deal with that. And I'm back out in the woods and I have a lot of trips planned and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully I should be able to get a video up every week and I appreciate you and let's go see what we see. That's a beauty berry. That's edible in Florida. I can't believe all the frogs that are out here. It's like millions of them. That's a good sign. That's good for the environment. It means the environment's doing well. You can see them on the pavement hopping. Those aren't grasshoppers, those are frogs. Florida has controlled burns. So this is going on. It's been so hot and humid here in Florida. It's just now starting to get a little better, but we've had so much rain that I'm sure I'm gonna find mud um, and maybe lots of it, but you know, I gotta get back out here and see what's going on. I'll show you, here's a controlled burn here. Let me get up there to it so I can show you. Florida does this so that we don't have wildfires. We still get wildfires, but at least it helps some because it takes down, see, they burnt all that area there because it was so overgrown, it was a fire hazard. So they go ahead and burn it with the firefighters here to hopefully keep from having a, a big fire later because you can see how thick it all is in here. But it must have been really thick over there. So that's why they do that. So right here, you can see Florida's doing some controlled burning in the woods. That's to keep it from getting out of hand later on. So they burn little sections to keep it from getting massive. See, there's some more fire right there. They know how to do it and they know how, how to keep it from getting big. So that's pretty cool. It's really quiet out here today. Except for the mosquitoes. What a beautiful day to hike. It's uh, cool this time of the day. It's in the morning. But it's a beautiful time to be out here for sure in Florida. This was dry last time I was out here and it's all wet now. Looks like a game trail going back that way. I'd like to put my camera somewhere out here but I'm afraid they're going to burn this side, too. I think it's time for the thermocell. The mosquitoes are terrible. Well, this definitely helped the mosquitoes. 
this thermosel. If you don't have one, you should get one if you're outdoors. Yeah, this creek bed was dry last time I was here. So, I guess I'm going to get wet. At least I didn't sneak, sink down to my knees. So last time I was here, it sounded like somebody was building a house out here. And I'll show you the screenshot of the area. So you can see there's no house building out here. I have no idea what it was, but it was off this way somewhere. Maybe I'll walk back there and see if I see anything. Looks like something dug a little bedding area on the other side of this log where they could lay down, probably most likely deer. They do that. You know, who knows how far back that knocking was coming from, but it actually sounded like somebody with hammers. This looks like a pretty good sized game trail right here. You know, you can't rule out people either because I've seen remnants of homeless camps out here long, long, long time ago, but I think they got onto them, but it could happen again. See, there looks like there's trails all through here. Okay, I got my game camera on this tree and I put some of those little marble looking things there to see if anything comes and gets them. It looks like there's been some hog activity back here, which I don't doubt. It's weird, I'm not seeing any stick structures or anything. So that noise could have been way further back. Things echo in the woods, that's for sure. But it does look like a trail going through here. The thing about it, when I heard that noise, some of it sounded like limbs being ripped. And I don't see any evidence of that, but like I said, it could be a lot further off than I thought. It's hard to tell without walking all through here. I'm gonna walk a little further this way and see if I see anything. Okay, there's definitely hogs out here. You can see that very clearly. I'm gonna leave my trail camera out here for a few months and see if I can catch any wildlife on it. So this area right here could be the area I heard stuff. 
It looks bedded down. Hogs have been through here. There's a lot of branches down in this area. I'm not seeing much through my binoculars either. I gotta be careful of these wild boar because they will attack you and this looks like a good place for them. But I'm gonna see if I see any prints of anything out here. This is interesting here, this tree fell on that side of that tree, on the inside of this tree, on the outside of that tree, and on the outside of that tree. Could have it happened naturally? Absolutely. But it is weaved, so that's kind of weird. But it's not impossible for it to fall that way. I'm hearing something back here, big, moving around. over there. The ground is getting pretty squishy out here. You have to admit, though, the Florida swamp, it ha does have a beauty to it. Even if it's muddy with lots of mosquitoes this time of year, it still has a beauty to it. Okay, this is interesting. This tree is still growing, and it has been pushed over towards the bottom. And that could be the sound that I heard that sounded like it was ripping. But the problem is, is I kept hearing knocking with it. Like lots of it, like somebody was building a house. So I'm not sure if this is part of what I heard or not. It's probably older. So you can clearly see the animals are coming through here to get water. And on the other side too, there's animal trails coming in. It's a little creek that was dry last time I was here, but now it's not. So, interesting. Okay. I think I found something here. You can see they broke off at the ends. They're interwoven with these vines that were already here. And then they're just jammed in the ground there. Interesting. I wonder what this stuff means. Okay, now I'm getting creeped out. I just heard somebody cough behind me. And it was a distinctive cough. My heart is pounding. There's nobody else out here that I know of. But I heard a cough. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Okay, I'm about to freak out.
Now I'm starting to wonder if there's something paranormal out this way. There's these froggies again. I don't know. I don't know what was making the noise that day. But I'm going to have to look back at that video and look at the date. And come out here around the same time next year. Maybe whatever it is moves to a different place. So quiet. That's not to step on these little froggies. There's just so many. Thank you. 